Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn how we can evaluate hydrated tip and integrals. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.5 from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. And in this lecture, we will learn question number eight. The statement of problem is integral is given to us 0 to limit from 0 to square root of 2, limit from 0 to 3y, <coughs> limit from x square plus 3y to 8 minus x square minus y square dz dx dy. Before solving this problem, we must know some basic terminologies and basic methodologies to solve iterated tuple integrals. In triple integrals, the most inner variable, this z, which is indicated with, with red color, is called inner variable. The central variable x, which is indicated with blue color, is called central variable. And then this y, which is most outer variable, is called outer variable. So in this integral, we have three types of variable, inner variable, central variable, and outer variable. The limits of inner variable are indicated with respect to red colors, and these are x squared plus 3y to 8 minus x squared minus y squared. Limits of central variable are 0 to 3y, and limits of outer variables are 0 to square root of 2. Please note that we will always solve the inner integral first, and then on the outcomes of inner integral, we will apply central integral, means integration with respect to central variable, and then on the outcomes of integration of central variable, we will perform integration with respect to outer variable. So in this question, first of all, we will start integration with respect to z. Then we will perform integration with respect to x. And at the end, we will perform integration with respect to y. One more important thing, the limits of inner variable and central variable may be constant, may be variable. But limits of outer variable are always constant in the form of some real numbers. Here you can see the, the lower limit and upper limit of z are both variable, whereas for central variable x, lower limit is constant, whereas upper limit is variable. But for outer variable, our limits are in the form of real numbers. These are constant. So after this basic concept, we will start solving this particular question. So first of all, integration of z dz is z. For the limits x squared plus 3y to 8 minus x squared minus y squared. In the next step, after integration with respect to z, we will apply a fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. So here it is. We have replaced z with the upper limit minus z. we have replaced z with lower limit. Whenever you are performing integration with respect to z, all other variables will behave like constants. Similarly, when you are integrating with respect to x, all other variables will behave like constant. And when you are integrating with respect to y, all other variables will behave like constants. Keep this thing in your mind. So after applying fundamental theorem of calculus, we will simplify these brackets. So we have 8 minus x square minus y square due to negative sign. The signs of the second bracket will change as minus x square minus 3y square. Performing the simplification, we have 8 minus 2x square minus 4y square. Minus x square minus x square will be minus 2x square. Minus y square minus 3y square is minus 4y square. Now, up till this step, we have performed integration with respect to z, which was our most inner variable. Now, in the next step, we will perform integration with respect to x, which is our central variable. With respect to x, y is constant. So the integration of 8 and integration of 4y square will be similar. Integration of 8 is 8x. Integration of minus 2x squared is minus 2 into x cube over 3 with the help of power formula. And integration of 4y square with respect to x is 4y square x. So after integrating 
we will apply these limits 0 to 3y. For applying limits, we will replace x in each term with upper limit and lower limit. Here it is, upper limit minus lower limit. We have replaced, in the first bracket, we have replaced x with 3y in each term. And for lower limit, we have replaced x with 0 in each term. So from here, you can see when you apply lower limit, this whole term become 0 and we are left only with first bracket. So making the simplifications, we have 24y minus 18y cube minus 12y cube dy. And after further simplification, we have 24y minus 30y cube. Now we will solve this integral with respect to our most outer variable. Now, the integration of y will be y square over 2 with the help of power formula. And integration of y cube is y raised to power 4 over 4 for the limit 0 to square root of 2. Making the simplifications, we have 12y square minus 15 over 2 y raised to power 4. Applying the limits with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. In upper limit, we have replaced y with square root of 2. And for the lower limit, we have replaced y with 0 in each term. So after applying limits, we have 24 minus 30. And this whole term in the second bracket becomes 0 after multiplication with 0. So 24 minus 30 is equal to minus 6, which is our required answer of the integral. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.